Hey, what is up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. I was not planning on vlogging today, and yes, we are back in the kitchen. As you guys know, I'm doing three uploads a week, and I did not know what to do for the third upload this week. And so I was tossing up some ideas with Sage this morning as we we're doing our workout, and I've just decided it's a beautiful day, and I'm gonna vlog. So here I am. I'm just about to make some breakfast for Dad and I. We're having porridge. I only like found out that porridge and oats are the same thing like last week and I've been obsessed. I've been having it every morning. Normally what happens with breakfast foods, I'm not really, I don't, I'm not normally hungry at breakfast time but I force myself to eat breakfast because I know that it's like the most important meal of the day. Found porridge and you know I love to switch my breakfast up because if I'm eating the same thing all the time I get sick of it and then I need to find something new. Good morning mum. And now we're having porridge. But we're gonna have some breakfast and go for a walk. Sage and I got up this morning at 8 and did a workout. There we go. Cook the porridge, let's go. So today is Thursday, which means it's an upload day on my current COVID upload schedule, if you will want to call it that. I finished editing the video for today last night, but I need to watch it through and make sure everything is good to go. So I'm going to do that now quickly before we go for our walk. Hopefully I have enough time. And then while I'm away, I can leave it to upload and I'll leave my phone here hotspotting because our Wi-Fi is so bad at home. Um, we're still stuck on ADSL. To send a Snapchat takes like, you know, a good 10, 15 seconds. I will watch this and get it hopefully uploading and then go for a walk. The weather is so nice. I... The weather affects my mood a lot more than it should, but on days like this, I am not complaining because I am thriving. <laughs> we have returned from our walk and it's currently 10 to 12, so I came back and had a shower and um, shaved my legs for the first time since lockdown started, so that was great. I've just left my video to upload using my hotspot, so I'm just going to put in the final details of that and hit publish. Also, outfit of the day, summer's coming. And we are public, hopefully. That worked. This is what I mean. Wi-Fi is so bad. Yay! My next job is I need to sort out my emails. But there's a little spot of sunshine down here on the ground. So I'm gonna grab my laptop to sit on the floor and do some emails and a little bit of PR stuff. I'm doing a brand deal with a company and I can't really talk about it too much, but you get to choose what you want them to send to you. And so I need to go through and um, choose what I want, which is pretty exciting. It's a little bit later on and I've had some lunch and I put on a jumper. I still got the shorts on, but a jumper has now been put on because it's like sunny and like humid, but like the wind's a little bit cold. I'm going to pop to the shop because I need to get some things for dinner. I'm making laksa for dinner, so I need to get some prawns, some cucumber, and some mung beans for that. Got my face mask ready to go. Also did all my admin stuff. So, so, so excited to show you guys some items I chose out when they come. Like, so excited and also some really exciting things as part of my degree we were required to do an internship and I think I may have secured one which is so exciting but anyway I need to go to the shop I don't think I'll take you guys with me though because I kind of need my hands to take the stuff and find the stuff so I'll just see you when I get back it is now five o'clock I managed to successfully get what I required from the uh, from the shop but it's been so long since I've like driven my car and I came back and went to go unlock my car and I never locked it. So I, I need to make sure that I don't do that once lockdown's over when there's actually people around. I came back and did a little bit of painting and then just jump on a call with church for a leadership crew that zooming together to like grow in our leadership, which is really, really good. But I did a little bit of painting, so I'm going to go back downstairs. We're sitting outside in the sun with Sage and I, and Nana has come and joined our bubble. She lives alone, but we were doing her groceries and stuff for her because she doesn't want to be going out. But she has kind of shifted into our bubble because she wasn't feeling very well yesterday. And so we um, yeah, went and picked her up and brought her over to our house. So she's out sitting with Sage out in the sunshine. So I want to go down and join them and do a little bit more painting and then cook some dinner. Here's how my painting's going. I'm, I'm making like a pot plant and it's going to have plants of some sort. My inspiration for this came from the new motif collection at White Fox Boutique. Fun fact, I used to mix paint all the time at Play Center when I was a kid. My friend Ryan and I which were like family friends. We found out when we were like four that you could mix red and white and make pink and there was this wooden frame of this playhouse and it used to just be free for like go paint it like you paint a house 
and um, we used to paint it every day. We'd paint the house pink every day. The house got a new layer of pink paint. Like I would hate to think how many layers of paint that house has on it now. Like if they sanded it back, I'd be responsible for a lot of those layers of paint. <laughs> Mum made some banana bread while I was on my call, so just having the end of that that wouldn't fit in the container with everything else. I found this when I googled easy flower pot painting, and so I'm thinking I want to take four of these designs, divide the square canvas into four, and do like one on each corner. But I can't claim the credit; it goes to this place. The sun is setting on me. I think it's time for me to go inside and make some dinner. But I'll show you guys the progress I made. It was it was very minimal, but other side of my paint box, I planned out the colors and whatever and then I drew the outlines and I started painting the pink but had a little bit of an issue because um the pink it was like real gummy because it's like really old paint so it took a while to get it to actually like spread like it doesn't spread very easily we made a start I'll probably finish it I don't know maybe tomorrow I don't know I've got a bit to do but that was fun anyway and uh yeah my pot's just chilling over there dinner is so good it's nearly 10 o'clock and i'm heading to bed i made dinner it was actually really good lux is such an annoying thing to try eat like it's like the solids and the liquids we never eat dinner at the dining table we always just eat in our laps on the couch it's not a very good meal for eating on your laps i faced an oven after dinner and Sage made a self-sourcing pudding, but she put normal flour in instead of self-raising flour. So the sauce part didn't soak in and do what it was meant to do, but still tasted good, still tasted the same, just didn't, wasn't as fluffy. Decided I'm going to vlog like Harry's vlog into tomorrow because I feel like I haven't had much footage today. And I'm about to sit down and plan out my day for tomorrow and it looks like it's going to be nice and productive. So I'll vlog that for you guys. But apart from that, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is a new day. It is... Friday. It's Friday. I woke up this morning at quarter to six and the sun was rising and so I just sat or laid in my bed and read a bit of the Bible this morning with the sun coming in. It was very cute. But it is time to go move our bodies. I, since I woke up early and I didn't, didn't take me as long to do what I needed to do as I thought it would. So I messaged Sage like 7.30 and I'm like, hey, like I'm up early if you want to work out earlier because it organized it over at 8. And she's like, yeah, I'm up early. Let's do it at quarter to 8. So come to go downstairs and get moving. The number plate, yeah, hold your drink bottle there, it's good. Like that? Yeah, perfect. How was that? That's good. <laughs> very, very tired now. We did like a circuit of abs, a circuit of, a circuit of arms, a circuit of abs, and a circuit of legs. And then we'd finish off with some sprints. After the workout, I had some breakfast, and then mum and I were gonna go for a walk, and then dad every Friday morning has a Zoom. Every lockdown they do this, they never do it when it's not lockdown, which makes me laugh, but they had a Zoom with all of his high school friends. It's quite cute. He um he's gone to his office, also known as the camp van and um, he's zooming his pals. So since it was just mum and I, we decided to go for a bike ride, which ended up being like nearly 10 Ks. It took us like 40 minutes. We did it on the e-bikes, which was so good. Like when it hits the hills, it's like, oh yeah, crank up the power. I'm not doing any more work, but I'm just like flying up the hill. I'm gonna go and have a shower. I need to wash my hair today. Cause she's looking pretty grotty. Also have a little bit of a headache from the bike helmet, but that's fine. I need to crack on with some stuff today because I've got a very busy day ahead of me. Had my shower, washed my hair, feeling great. But now I need to quickly do a little job. So I help out at church with doing like the email, Facebook and the app. But this week I've got the job of doing the email. So I need to go in and set up the email to go out to everyone at the Hamilton campus. <laughs> I've done it like once or twice before. So I need to like go and remind myself how to do it. Because it needs to be like approved before it gets sent out. Just to make sure that everything's like right so I need to get onto this ASAP so it can get checked before it gets sent. My vlogging game has been so poor. I just had a zoom for my class for my group project and have we've delegated roles for that so going into next week I have a plan on what I need to do which is great. Dad has been wanting a haircut for the last like week but he wants me to film it and so since I'm vlogging I'm going to take this opportunity and we're going to go and cut Dad's hair. Have I ever cut hair before? No so I don't know why he wants me to do it but the level of trust is impeccable. So we're going to go and have a go at cutting it here. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got a pair of scissors. Dunno. If you're a hairdresser and you're watching, I would suggest clicking off now. Who do you want a haircut? Yep. Do you want to film it? Okay. Yeah, might as well. Then decide before you edit to make it silly. You've got to <laughs> show me it before you make me look stupid. 
yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but I've got a comb, I've got some nail scissors. I need like a spray bottle. The only spray bottle we have is in the camper van and it's used to flush the toilet paper down the toilet, so that's what we're gonna use. All right, let's go and find said spray bottle. Again, this is your second warning if you're a hairdresser. Now is your time to leave. All right, we have <laughs> the spray bottle. Okay, never mind, this one's broken. We're going out to the camper van to find another one. Mum told me this is, Mum, this is a drink bottle, not a spray. False alarm. We got it working. While we're waiting for Dad, I'll show you guys my painting. Oh. There you go. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. It, not quite like the picture that I was trying to copy, but. Alright, right, you take my glasses off. Oh, I just want the thickness out of it, the bulk out of it, so it's not so like bushy. This, these bits. Yeah, I'm sure Joe just pulls, cut, pulls it out in a snip, snip, snip. Okay, <laughs> easy enough. Right. Otherwise, I'll just wear a hat for three weeks. <laughs> no, we haven't got a comb, have we? No, I've got a comb, don't worry, I'm organised. Which ones are they? These ones. So pull, pull a bit out, yeah. and then you can cut a couple of centimetres off it. <laughs> the scissors aren't cutting anything. Oh, perhaps you do need better scissors. I can try to use these ones. Oh. Oh, I'll try those, yeah. They had like paper scissors. <laughs> yeah, they're working though. Oh, it feels like it's... Gonna let me split ends. Probably, but that's fine. Okay, third warning to all the hairdressers watching this video, please exit now. Oh, I think we need a bit more. Oh, geez, now it's getting over me. I'm sure they go down with the comb and pull it out. Yeah, it's, it looks a lot easier than it does. I'm just learning that now. Good thing he grows back, is all I can say. Oh. <laughs> that sound like a big bit. Yeah. I was supposed to cut a little bit, man. <laughs> Give you a mullet. Yeah. I'm cutting the hair, I just don't know if I'm cutting it in the right places. I'm gonna get these curly bits Yeah, 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 just, just mm. trim those up a bit. Do you want to do with this bit? Yeah, just trim that up a bit too. Just Hang on, I need some water on it. It's not gonna stick to anything. Ah. Cut a centimeter off, that's all you need to cut a centimeter mm. off. I think that that's probably enough. I'm not too sure how successful or unsuccessful that was, but there's plenty of hair on the ground, so. Um, I'm sure they'll do them until lockdown's over. I'm going to close off the vlog here because I need to get on to everything this for tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make some fun, and I'll see you in my next video. I can't. Mm -mm. Hang on. It's just so messy. Let's get this bread. No, we're not that can stand for me. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. Oh, I can't speak. Thank you.